Ah, it's crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Definitely fire crew. <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay, <laughs> well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Mm-hmm, true. Well, let's just get shape. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yep. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward to get the fireman around. Oh, let's get the getaway vehicle and then the fire truck, I guess. This car looks good. Christ, no! No! Ah, it's a shirt! Don't be a dick! Okay, let's find a discreet location. There we go. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. Alright, give me the location. Rockford Hills. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Excuse me! Ah! Now to get a fire truck. Can we call a fire truck? Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Okay, now we wait. There she is. Now to take it. I need this. Thank Jesus you. Christ! What All right, come on, come on, out! Ah! Degenerate! Oh! Forgive me! I'm not gonna get rid of the cops as a fire truck. Beautifully done. 
That should be everything. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Go to the FIB building. Lester looked kind of sad about burning that place too. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. You know, either get really good or really bad. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Mm hmm, so far so good. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. <laughs> now we can't run. That'll be too suspicious. Plant the bomb in the locker. So inconspicuous. Go to the next room. Nothing to see here. Last spot. Okay, plant the bomb in the restroom. In case you needed proof, coffee was a diuretic. <laughs> Nothing to see here, bud. Just don't use this toilet. first no worries oh thanks for holding the door bud oh looks like we're done another janitor who's the last one a heart attack or a budget cut <laughs> all right showtime hey charge is set i'm out of the building hey dog we right around the corner we got your gear in here with us Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? <laughs> I'm going to trust this plan is good, because I usually get brought in earlier. Let's get together later. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. Badly. Bombs that we planned. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull it up there by the curb. In the building. Come on. Oh Alright. Oh my god. The elevator? Is that such a good idea? Oh, Alright, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool. 
move, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. <laughs> we gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. Then we got an oxygen level to keep an eye on. Stairs are here. We take them up to 53. Keep going. Almost at the top. 53. Should be the next one. 53. Containment drives up here. We live, stand back. Oh, shit. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Tick tock, let's go. Let's have that other button. Let's do it. Yep, that focus. <laughs> shit. It's hot. Yep, don't worry, I don't right this time. Silver drive, middle stack, far wall. Okay. I got the drive, let's go! We ain't got long! Follow me! Holy I shit! I can't die here! Yeah, time to go. What's about the elevators don't work anymore? Jeez, that's not good. Door stuck! I gotta bust it down! Better be quick okay, about it. Up. Oh! Ah. Oh, okay, I think he's. Franklin. Yep, he's dead. See if he can get woke up on his feet! Is he even still alive? Ah, shit, man, he's dead! We yep. can't take a corpse through this inferno. We gotta leave him. Let's go! Oh, no way. He left me. Oh, man, kind of. That explosion must have knocked me out, man. Outside of the building. Get, get out of here. The office was meant to be empty. Can't you see the building burning? They done, man. I'm coming to find. You. Awesome job. Hurry up. Fiftieth floor, man. Almost with you. Almost. It's Frank. All right, kid. Hey, we're going over this. Follow me. We don't have parachutes. Should be an elevator shaft This holds us. <laughs> oh, no freaking way. Is that elevator come down? We're getting out of here. Oh, shit, it missed us. Just. Dude, 
Terra Firma. Hey, let's get the fuck off this field. Right. Before it comes down on our head. Hey, get in the truck. Ugh. Seems like we made it. I think. Four fire trucks will be here in a minute. We got our best in there. <laughs> Did we? Let's go where we stashed the car. Come on. Wait, what? Get in the frickin' truck, Daryl. There it is. Destroy the fire truck. Uh, we'll give it. We'll give it two. Yeah, Lester's new place. Or is it his actual house? Hey, Lester place up here. It sure is. Yeah, it was my pleasure. <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Ah! Fucking A Ray, we oh. did it! Ow! Oh. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, give me oh. some of that! Ow. 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 Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. Jeez. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Freaking just can't catch a break, huh? All right, what could he possibly want? Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? So we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court. 
about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Holy shit! Mike, this your frequency! That's our vehicle! Until some more of these guys kill each other. Okay, yeah, I need a better weapon. Hey, no, no, no. I did not expect that. No. What happened to Haynes? Did he get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Wait, Trevor. Oh, the fuck? Hey! If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend, it's gonna be me! Oh! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion <laughs> and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking yeah. into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. It looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. Sweet Jesus! Bend over here and come! Holy shit, How what's did going you on? get in this pickle? Get a mark on something scout on it. Badly over so here. So tell me, Davy, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. Run, Michael! I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Of course. More mercenaries here. Are they behind that door? Don't mind yep. me. And it Get out of here. Mikey, my gun's getting hot. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're going to get off it. If Uncle T wasn't here, you'd be in real trouble. I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on. Watch out. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Ugh. Woo. Oh, I think that's it. The longer you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you, Am. Nope. Someone clocks my chop. 
Chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear and we'll talk. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do oh, not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. I'm taking this <laughs> one. So long. Mike, oh, you take the fast one. We need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. To... Uh, you know, I've been meaning. To... I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch. Who deserves to be put under? Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay too, because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Catch us in the next one.